Hey guys, and welcome back to UMRV. We are picking up where we left off over at uh, Old Field 31, doing some soybean harvest. And uh, we got Rubber Burner with us tonight, as well as Spectre. And uh, on chat, we've got Doughboy. Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'll wait till we have a decent audience before I bring up the uh, well, the special announcement of the day. So we've got uh, once this field's done, we got 37 in soybeans, 38 and 39 in soybeans. They're all ready to go. Here we can just uh, keep working the soybeans until we run out of them. Good. Doing my favorite thing, and I'm not gonna be there. What's that? Soybeans? Harvesting. Oh, we got like 40 more fields. Yeah, I know. And the way my luck's been going. Hey, can you pipe out, Spectre? Fullest. You can keep going. I was gonna go straight. No big. You can drive your own fuel truck. Most of my stuff should be fueled tonight. No rock out again tonight? Nah, uh, he's... Last I heard, he's nose deep in, uh, in map making. In there. So... Let him... Let him keep his creative... Creative juices running. Yeah, for sure. Old guy farmer says he's going to try playing uh, Crawford Farms without opening GE. He says it's out of his comfort zone, but he's going to give it a try. <laughs> Who said that? Old guy farmer. <laughs> that is a hoot. I couldn't do it. I was just telling him I couldn't do it. I, I, any map I play, I open it up and I tweak it. Oh, come on. You got to play it how it is. I was pretty excited when I opened up Mod Hub there today. And, well, I opened up Discord first and saw everybody saying congratulations. And I opened up Mod Hub, and before I had even woken up, 3,000 people had downloaded it. 3,000? Oh, wow. Yeah, she's up 3,800 now. And I know you got another. 160 some over at least one of the uh, odd scraping sites. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I threw an appropriate rating in for you. Appropriate? Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, I don't ask people to put in five stars. I just say rate it how you feel it's appropriate. Yeah. So. I have to see what I, I think. <laughs> if I get a one star for fun recline, I'm going to be an unhappy camper. Oh, if they only recorded your ratings, right? <laughs> there were also uh, several of the um, several of the uh, the charity. Placeable and prefab mods showed up. Maybe that means skeletons yeah, soon to come. Hey, farms all forever. A handful of mod release 
pieces today, which I was happy with because, goodness, we haven't had anything for like a week. It was nice to get uh, a dump just before the weekend. Well, now I get to go home and go through all them, huh? Yeah, there's a uh, there's several multiplayer mods that relate to like uh, controlling multiplayer um, interactions, like uh, individual multiplayer individual users, like your own money, your own uh, the MP owner was updated, some MP money thing, um, a couple other things that relate to like uh, multiplayer. There's an interesting. Um, mixer mod where if you leave power food in the uh, in the mixer for more than a few hours it will start to unmix and you basically have to run the mixer for a specific amount of time before it will uh, turn back into power food and then it'll, it'll, rot over, it'll rot over an uptime too won't it I wasn't sure it kind of seemed to counteract counterdict that it made a comment that one time, but then later it talked about the amount of time it took for it to be totally unmixed. And I didn't know if that meant that it degraded and disappeared, or, or what. I have to uh, have to test it. Yeah, it looks like an interesting mod, though, for sure. Yeah, I was like, the one day that Rubber Burner sleeps to, like, I don't know, evening, um, is, is, hey, his stuff comes out. Now, I, I sleep that, now that I'm unemployed, I sleep that late every day. I'm up all night and sleep all day. Hey, hey, uh, Jay, how are you doing? Says, uh, first, he says he'll wait until he figures out how many animals he kills before he rates the, uh, map. Then he says, uh... Yes, it will rot after 24 hours. Oh, okay. How about, yeah, he, he put a message in, was it my Discord or his, that says, I, th I think Rubber Burner wants you to use, wants you to do pigs. Did you know you've got like 48 pallets of pig food or something? Yeah, I think it comes, you, you get pigs to start with. And the, the, the thought process was I tried to give you enough pig food to do one full year if you were running seasons. I like when map makers do that because you start out with seasons, you can't start with animals because you don't have the food. But I like it when they think ahead about that and at least, at least get you through the summer. If not, like Rubber Burner did, give you the year, but at least get you through the summer. You probably haven't had time to see that one map I put up, um, it's Thursday, I think it may have been yesterday. Um, maybe it was last week, where you start out with, uh, silage in a silage pit. Yeah, I saw that one. Okay. And you start out with not only pallets of pig food, but you start out with a heap of pig food also. Yeah, and uh piled up at the end of fields. oh yeah because i was driving around and i saw what looked like a giant pile of manure i'm like i wonder if this is deco or if this is a real pile of manure so i went and got a a bucket and i was able to scoop it up yeah i like that map that's on my list hey mark how you doing everyone say hi to mark Hi, Mark. Doing a little harvester dance. Yes, sir. I'm just doing a happy dance, period. Yeah, you should be because it didn't go boom. Where are we going next? Uh, after you unload on me, 37, which is kind of toward the, uh, 
Well, it's not, it's, yeah, it's over there. And I go toward the steeple. No, Doughboy's not streaming. He's actually, um, you're still sitting alongside the road, aren't you, Doughboy? No, I'm just dropping the trailer off at the shop, and I'm headed back to my shop, so I go home. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Doughboy had a bit of a problem. Like 500 liters in here. I know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna empty this and then I'm gonna empty the trailer. He uh, he was hauling propane and uh, well his trailer yeah, just, his trailer flamed trailer up on him. So you forgot about me. He was uh, he's sitting alongside the road, uh, trying to put out a fire on his propane trailer. Not a good combination, clearly. I was coming across to pick you up. I like the uh, the junk equipment behind the uh, equipment the stalls. That was pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of people get a kick out of that little area. And it's true. It's actually there, too, in real life. I remember that spot clear as day. Well, yeah, you know, you just, just shove it out of, the, uh, out of the back of the equipment storage or the, the machine storage and uh, put it in that little grove of trees. Yeah, well, then you eat parts off something, you can go scavenge it, right? Yep, every farm's got a junk pile. Yes, sir. The only complaint I have you make it there, did you? No, that didn't go as planned. I'll keep looking for the field exit. Wherever Clyde, I could probably use a push. All right, I'm unloading. I'll be over there. <laughs> Take it, your beached whale on the on the on the uh, on the ditch. Yes, sir. Something like that. I'll just hang out here. I'm coming across this giant field. Figure out where you were. That something barreling towards me. See if I can bump you out. There Didn't you work. go. Alright, I'm about to catch air. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Boy, that was, that that was a work. lot of air. That's right. I'll stop it. Wait for you to go. Speed now. <laughs> we had speed. Why is it you guys are going so much faster than me? Because <laughs> I was pushing them. I tried that police bumping, bumping run maneuver. The pit maneuver. It's not racing night, Klein. It's uh, got your Go stream days mixed up. Go figure. I ran into the one thing that has collisions on this map. Poles. Yep.
given up on going through the proper field entrance. Chris Webb says hello, Rubber Burner and Farmer Klein. Welcome, Chris. Howdy, Chris. So what's everybody been up to today? You see, I swapped out the bin pack on uh, the upcoming project. Hey, Farmer yeah. J67. The other ones work just as good as these, and uh, the mod's 300 megs smaller, so uh, it leaves more room for other things. Right. Ah, work and more work. Ah, uh, hold on, guys. I think the uh, I think the chat box isn't working again. Hold on. Start to work again. Ah, uh, there we go. Now it's working. Oh, fungi side, that's nice. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can get back to y'all before you get full. I think these guys that made these country roads could get them to line up a little better. No mold, I never heard of that. Oh, 
Look at that. No crop damage. Perfect. Yay, I'm back. Oh, you all didn't even see what I did to the truck. Well, it was behind you. I see it back there. Still don't know what you did to it. Didn't drive through all the crop. I came in there. But did you, did came you in drive there, through the fence? Yeah, I came in there full speed. <laughs> Told you, I only have one position on the accelerator. Down. Sounds like somebody you, else I know. You mean you didn't do that? No, I didn't destroy all that valuable crop. I it was in my defense, it wasn't intentional, and if somebody had got to my harvester in time, it wouldn't have happened. I was just sitting there waiting on you guys. Look at him yelling at the boss. God, I love it. It's always someone else's problem. Yeah, I heard about it last week, so. <laughs> and the week before. And the week before that. Two or six bins. But well, we got six grain bins over here on this corner, so that would be nice. Low yield on this soybean, huh? Soybeans in general don't yield that much right. compared to other saying. because they're more valuable. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Mr. Awesome, how are you doing? Better keep this guy unloaded. <laughs> Little crop insurance there? So, tell me about the East Canadian Geo. How is it different from the Midwest? Um, well, to be honest with you, I've never played with the Midwest, so I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> uh, like the Midwest, you do have the option to do a winter crop. Um, so you can plant your wheat, barley, oat rye, canola... Um, all in late fall, have it um, pop up, and I think it popped up for me in early summer, or maybe it was midsummer. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> one of the biggest things you'll find is uh, it's a whole lot snowier um, through the winter and even into early spring. So for me, I... Uh, I've loaded up the map a few times, uh, creating new save gains to test and whatnot, and often found there to be snow on the ground when you start a new save game. And in fact, with my series I did, it was mid mid spring before I could start doing any field work whatsoever. So it creates a bit more of a challenge 
because uh, you're a bit more rushed when you do have the opportunity to get stuff done. Can you double crop? I've tried. I, I don't think so. I think you're going to be too tight on time to do that. Do you recall how late you can plant corn or beans? No, I would have to take a look at that. <laughs> Al's Gomu is uh, trolling you, rubber burner. Oh? Yeah, with respect to what the East Canadian Geo is, he says it's more cold, more maple syrup, um, and cheaper scripts that, that's about it. I guess he means cheaper prescriptions. <laughs> that, that's good. I like that. So, I can get more maple syrup off if I run the East, East Canada Geo. There are actually, and the funny thing is, is in real life, there's a maple syrup farm where that map is located. Of course, there isn't a mod for that, so I wasn't able to add it in. Oh, you could have took, you could have took the, uh, maybe you could have took the fruit trees mod, and uh, instead of making them, well, they just make money. Um, yeah. You could have took one of those mods that makes, like, oranges or something, and instead it makes uh, little bottles of maple syrup. I suppose. This is, is, there, is there an outdoor ice rink somewhere? No, there's no outdoor ice rink. No, no hockey being played in the streets, or what? There was much street hockey played in the street, yes. See, I parked that truck and I didn't damage any crop when I came flying in the, in the field. It came pretty darn too close, though. I wasn't playing horseshoes. Or hand grenades. No, uh, but Doughboy was playing bomb earlier. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. complaining uh, about uh, me destroying crop, but he doesn't want to leave me enough room to get it all. Oh, he says scripts. He meant mod scripts, not prescription scripts. <laughs> Our prescriptions are cheaper too, though. So Farm All Forever says in Minnesota, they get 45 bushels an acre to soybeans and 150-ish corn. It's back to Spectre's comment about yield. There we go. Finally so, climb out of my truck. AKA the hay <laughs> uh, says that they have Maple Grove on their farm in Vermont. Uh, makes 35 to 50 gallons a year off of 400 taps. Is that a lot? That sounds like a lot. That's a fair amount. Did you say 50 gallons for 30, taps? 35 to 50 gallons I guess of syrup. I mean, you gotta cook that stuff down too, right? Yeah, there was a processing plant, actually, where manure is sold in my map, where the syrup was processed and turned into, you know, edible maple syrup. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got little fields today. That field we've started on, that took two hours to get to the point that we picked it up this morning, this after this evening on. Yeah, I was with you guys for 23. That was a pretty big one. No, that's all we did. That's all we did. Thursday stream was harvest part of that field. Yeah, it was only the two of us as well. So that's a that's a nice idea, Mister Awesome. The problem is the the uh, space gets limiting with multiplayer because you would have to have four copies of the thing. Um, you can only have so many gigs to. Uh, yeah, for mods? Yeah, I'm sorry. I tried to make it. It's alright. Got, uh... We got next week, maybe. So the other thing I liked about that little map that had the heaps of stuff was... They had like, they set like, um, they had like little scenes all set up, scattered around on what I called non-player fields. Like they'd have a harvester or a baler set up and, you know, deco bales around as if uh, someone was bailing. Hmm. My Atlanta, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Uh oh. Opened up a paycheck from last week. It should be pretty good, right? More than I expected it to be. That's so, good. Beers on Doughboy Ignite. It's good. So he says, uh, AK says, 30 gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup. Then Farmall says, 40 gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup. So I guess. Depends on how potent you want your syrup. Now I know why that stuff is so damn expensive. Uh, well, actually, Doughboy's doing it. Well, he's streaming. He's not doing a series. Doughboy's doing a stream on um, Spectacle Island. A streaming series. So you can check out his... Uh, 75 hours? 75.75, that's 35 three quarters hours of overtime. Very, very good. That's tiring, but very good. You're not, you're not kidding, that's very tiring. Ask Rubber Burn. <laughs> I was in a stream with him when I was ready to pass out. I actually called him and apologized. Yeah, my wife used to drive uh, medical transport, and inevitably she would get dispatched to a uh, do a long delivery or or pickup when they had like 30 minutes left on their shift. And it's right. like it's like, um, why don't you call the shift that started like an hour ago? Well, they're busy with something else. You know, I need you to run this. And it's like, it's four hours in one direction. Come off shift in 30 minutes. She'd call me up. Well, I won't be home tonight because i got to do this. That was, that was before we had kids, so it was less of a problem. Our boss at work does that sometimes, actually. We're getting off the shift. We're open until 9 o'clock in the evening. And rather than have the customer wait for a half an hour, they'll force us to start fixing the car that's, you know, a four hour job. And we end up staying until 9 o'clock. Well, but it's overtime for you. But what, what he sees is that, uh, you know, if, 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 his, if he doesn't get the job, then they'll go somewhere else and they'll get the job. So. Yeah, that's just it. I don't get overtime. I'm flat rate. It doesn't well, work that way for me. Well, there you go then.
So Mr. Awesome suggested I do a play series on Spectacle Island Doughboy, but I sent him over to your channel. Oh yeah, thank you. I got another oh, island. Yeah. I got another island job. I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a blast. Making lettuce and fishing? No, 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 I'm not doing that one. Well, that's nice. Uh, I can smile about that check. That almost makes all them hours worth it. So, which, which new game are you buying tonight? I'm paying bills tonight. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. If there's money left, I got my eye on one. But I got equipment to buy two for fans because I got switched over to a new project. So, I need to get some equipment. That's going to come first. I got to get the bills paid first. If it's not one thing, it's always something else, isn't it? Always. It's like once once you get a little egg saved up, all of a sudden something comes. It's like, oh, there they, there went that. Exactly. That's the truth. I gotta stop for go go juice on the way home, or I'm not making it home. Oh, let's see here. What's everybody know about Kloss and Farm Sim 19? Alaska Moose says there's a rumor Kloss will be a uh, licensed commodity. That's not surprising. I'll do a good, I'll, we'll have a good island series. Don't worry, I got some good, good ideas. There won't be spectacle. That's for sure. Not that I don't like the map, it's just that uh, I got my eye on something better. Chilly out. Truck needs a warm up so I can get some heat. Uh, they could do both as long as they didn't sign an exclusivity agreement. There wouldn't be any reason why you couldn't do both. I kind of looked at uh, pre-ordering that uh, farming, far, what is it, pure farming? Whatever that thing is that they came out with a, uh, a new video on the other day. Haven't seen it.
You still playing ATI? Uh, I haven't, I haven't fired it up in a while, but I've been focusing on, uh, and concentrating on, uh, finishing out the second part of the year on churn farms myself. Does uh, Spectre have ATS? No, I was trying to decide if I would find any pleasure in that game and if I'd ever play it. Because I play this so much. It's... I definitely enjoy ATS. It's clearly have a quick hours into it that I have with Farm Sim, but it's kind of one of those, okay, I need a break. I'm going to go play Farm Sim for... Or, uh, trucks in for a few hours yeah I think it would um, the game itself I don't think it's multiplayer but someone had, or they've basically someone has made it work with multiplayer I think it'd probably, it's probably got a, a better playthrough with multiplayer than single player because single player it, it seems to just get a little bit of a grind of just load after load after load yeah, the single player is fun at first, but once you 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 eventually get to a point where you have all the money in the world, and then there becomes no challenge in doing the drives. So, so. Yeah, in the... Um... You know, the short runs don't pay a lot, and then the long runs is just, it's all interstate stuff. It's fun, it's fun exploring the, uh, the, the new state, you know, when they come out with a new state. Have you guys seen the pictures of the new state they're going to be coming out with? No. Oh my god, it looks gorgeous, man. And the general consensus is it's going to be Oregon. And it looks like, okay, everybody thought they stepped up their game with New Mexico. This one's like a whole nother ball game. Oh, so they're going to go completely the other direction. They're going to go north of California, huh? Yeah, that was their whole plan. They said they had two teams working on ATS now. One to go east and one to go north. I spent a lot of time driving through New Mexico. I may have to see what the, if it's... A accurate depiction. It's one of my favorite states to drive through. I would say, if you can pick it up when it's on when it's on, when it's on a good sale, you can pick it up for dirt cheap, and uh, you probably own everything, including all the DLCs, for like less than uh, twenty-five if you pick it up on good sale. I'm going to run a GPS on this one. Uh, no, it, it's not because there's no farmer client sell point, a.k.a. the hay. Um, I'm not going to do a play series on it because my buddy Doughboy is doing a play series on it. And, uh, and I've got plans for, uh, for a different map for, uh, the next series. And I'll be, I'm um, actually getting ready to uh, kind of start prepping that off, off, uh, put off camera. I actually found myself watching some uh, YouTube videos on City Skylines, and that's kind of got my interest again, somewhat. I, guess, I got skitty, skitty Skylines. City Skylines there not that long ago, and <clears throat> I'm not disappointed that I got it, that's for sure. I used to play that game a lot. I played the Sim series or Sim City uh, versions uh, back when it was EA. I mean, I guess it's a completely different company, but this this company definitely stepped up their game a little bit. I think. UTX is in the house. Hey, Andy. Hey,
So we got 22 watching. So now I'm going to take the perfect opportunity to say congratulations, Rubber Burner, on your uh, map making it to the Mod Hub. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm super. You guys have no idea how excited I am for everybody else to finally be able to get their hands on it. We had uh, the only regret is that if we didn't, if we had uh, Rockhound here, we could we have uh, two map. Two published map um, guys on here. This is true. So I learned from from three dudes that that Cal's go move has had a um, he need to go he needed to go to mod map um, anonymous because uh, he had a mod map addiction. Yeah, that happens. I, I understand and that. Sadly, as a result of him going to Mod Map Anonymous, he's not going to be able to download and play Crawford Farm. <laughs> At least I hope not, because that would be, you know, he would be, um, what is it when you fall off? He would be falling off the the Mod Map wagon. <laughs> But I think we all would understand if he would not be able to play that for quite a while as he recenters and focuses himself. Are we going to do it? No, we're going to hit. Funk! You didn't copy my GPS, did you? I certainly did. What? Funk! Uh, had that problem yes, the other night, too. You remember what width we had these headers set at? Was it thirteen eight? Uh, I think that's what we had started, or that's what we had ended at. So Cal's good move says he was going to suggest over three dudes that we use Crawford Farms as the next multiplayer map. I'd be cool with watching that. Yep, I'm good with that. So for people in chat, it's Crawford Farms. It's over at the in-game mod hub. Oh, uh, just got released today. It's in the beta section. Close your gas cap. And it is a... Uh, off or, um, fueling up. I feel like you're just asking to get yourself blown up today. It is an East Canadian map. Yeah. Uh, also has its seasons prepared, and it has built into it a. Did you adjust your width on this course at all, or no? East Canadian uh, no, Geo. I didn't. If you want to wait for me to get to you, then if you want to adjust, then I'll copy off of you. Sorry, I guess I. Probably should have just stopped when we were talking about it earlier. It's got quite the forestry area, that's for sure. What's that, Crawford? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And that nasty animal point that's in the middle of the woods. <laughs> that, that was just a matter of, I need to find a spot to put that thing. And <laughs> you couldn't have found a spot anywhere else. No, then then to carve it. out a little section in the woods that there's no way you're going to get a, a semi-trailer into. Never saw a semi-trailer out that area. Just saying. I'm just my saying. No now, wonder. My width is now set to 13.6, but I didn't line it up, so. Okay. Figure out a way to get one in there. Cal's going to move wants to know if the next version plays O Canada every time the map loads up. That's Please not a bad don't. idea. I like that idea. <laughs> or it marked a pot with like this, maybe some tragically hit. I take it that's a popular Canadian band? What band is that? 
tragically hit. Never heard of him. Must be something new. <laughs> no, the, the lead singer just died, actually. It's not like the Guess Who or Rush or Triumph or Neil Young or... They're, I don't know how to put it. They're a rock and roll band. Uh, I don't know how you describe the type of music. But they Tragic. Are real hits. Tragic. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, one of their hits was all about maple, uh, maple chips. Why? You're running halfway? Yeah, because we didn't adjust the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit. So I just figured this way we could keep the same number on our GPS and just, yeah. Shut up, Farmer Bonnie. Liquid fertilizer production, where is that at? That's by the, uh, compost master. What's up north? Uh, yes, sir. Just before the store. Okay. Robert in chat was wondering. And he couldn't figure out where it was. Spectre just cuts in the field. <laughs> Told you, the Spectre, he just cuts in wherever he needs to. What do I do? Drive all the way into the field and start a new row? Yes! It'll get done eventually. <laughs> this is the tragically odd-shaped field, by the way. Oh, that's, that's, that's original. Bless you. Sorry about that, guys. Thank you. Three thousand downloads is impressive for uh, what, like four hours? Well, it's pushing closer to four thousand now. But yeah, I'm happy with that number. Now, to be fair, I kind of have a bit of an unfair advantage because there hasn't been any other map released in like forever. And there wasn't another map released today. True. I guess there are a fair number of map hoppers that uh, play a map for 15, 20 hours and then just stop. Yeah. 
Now you get to clean up your... Oh, you're not even cleaning up your own mess, Spectre? <laughs> I'll get it, man. What's your hurry? Jesus. <laughs> I legit figured you were going to be coming up that strip, and then you just crest the hill, and I'm like, what the frick? Don't you man, like the... Uh... Don't you like the lay of this, these fields where you can crest a hill and all of a sudden you see somebody? I do. I do like that, yeah. I like... I, there was a field on your map that had, uh, like, this... Oh, my God. Look at that. Just tearing stuff up. <laughs> I think that's a little rage harvesting there. Um, that had, like, a... Uh, I did not move. My hands are not even on... I don't even... On the... I was turning to the right in, a, in an order to try to save us. The, there's a field that's got, uh, like, a little, a little island of rock... Yeah. Um. And and the uh, the ground's been raised up because when I drove over the rock, the uh, the truck took a little jump. <laughs> That's what we like to call ledge. You know, there's a nice big old boulder or some, you know, bedrock or something that's protruding up out of the uh, middle of the field. And then really love the fields where you have to drive through the woods through a nice little old path to finally get into the field and then the field's completely surrounded by woods yeah they're tucked away in the middle of nowhere type deal <clears throat> yeah it's like um so where in 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 what in what world did somebody clear this part of the forest just for a field yeah, you know, or, or was some guy was, just walking was, around and all of a sudden found this clearing and was like, oh, I can cut a road into here and plant some corn. I, I would honestly like to go back there someday and try to walk through it and figure out what their mindset was as to why they put fields where they did. So have you, you've obviously, you don't use course play much though, right? I, I, I use course play a lot in FS15. In FS17, I've kind of shied away from it, so. Because okay. in the, uh, in the version of course play that I've got, um, in the course creation screen, there's a section that says something like detect islands. And you yeah. can turn it on or off. Um. Well, I tried to set up a course on Churn Farm, Field 15, which has the big grove of trees in the middle. And everywhere that I set the course up, it kept complaining that I basically it couldn't do the course and I had to reposition myself. Um, I was just wondering if anybody had figured out how this Detect Islands thing worked. Turn it off, because the only thing, it'll, it won't work for fingers, it only works for Islands Islands. Yeah, well, there's the, the trees right smack dab in the middle of the field. That's the only way that that island works. Yeah, that's that's how field 15 is. There's there's a uh, oblong grove in, the grove in the middle of the field. You well, can drive you can drive in complete circles around it. That may yeah, have to do with whether you want circles or whether you want. Um, there's three choices of how to go around it. Did you try all three choices when you were creating? The Oh, I think the only option I had was like activate or deactivate. Now there's another option in the uh, uh, the one menu where it says um, something about islands, and then it gives you where it basically runs. It says a simple, and then there's a circle, and there's something else. I can't, can't remember. I'm not in front of it. Okay. 
is I used to just set up a course by course with a whole bunch of headlands. And then, and then once it would start to want to, like, make passes through the feet, through the trees, I would just stop it and clean it up by hand. Be right back. I gotta wet the tires. Do you have the most recent version of course play too? Because I know when they first released that option, they were having issues. I know Landy Kid had the same issue where it wasn't working for him at first and he had to update his course play and then he was able to get it to work. Uh, I probably haven't downloaded it in a couple weeks. You might want to check that too. That's actually where I learned how to use it was Landy Kid's videos. Did I hear Spectre say he had his hands off the wheel? Was that a proverbial wheel or was that a literal wheel? It was a proverbial wheel. Um, okay, so Old Guy Farmer says, course play, it works great. You need to set it up as calculate from here and not choose your own starting point. It is great on first full circle mode. I've used it with Agro, Gorel, and Autumn oaks and it works yeah that's the other thing you got to let course play you know start from current spot and do it the way you like to do it there farmer Klein, and pick you know northeast heading south but you know you can't do it that way yeah i pretty much have always well not always but now that they have the start from current position that's what i pretty much usually pick Uh, I won't be able to after this stream because I will be in bed myself there, Mr. Awesome. Um, and regretfully, I've got a lot going on uh, between streams and the recordings and uh, the racing that I need to try to do uh, because I'm part of a racing team. I got to uh, basically run some number of races every week uh, with respect to that. Uh, that I really don't have uh, a whole lot of uh, free time. You did it! Yay! What's you working with? Uh, 33.6, but I still had to turn to the right some. And it's you didn't use the dem stuff, but you did take a Google Earth image and basically paint over the Google Earth image. Is that right? No, I used the dem stuff too. Oh, okay. Does that work for the forest? I was driving through the forest because you know I just did that just for fun. And the forest is nice and bumpy and irregular. The forest was very time consuming because, um, yes, there was uh, damned views, but then I also used a um, feature in GE that's called noise. And what it does is it simulates bumps and whatnot, and you have to just continually click over and over and over again all kinds of areas to create the bumps. Then you smooth it all out so it's not super unrealistic and it's time consuming but the general hilliness is from the dem but the bumps are simulated okay the, the dem will go i think it's like five meters is how far it simulates Hey, let me empty you before you go and uh, get your pipe over crop.
Sporting a green shirt today, Spectre. Got the blue. Let's see what River Burner's wearing. Uh, is that a white? You wearing the white plaid there, rubber burner? Yeah, I'm sticking with my usual. Uh, oh, what's the term I'm looking for? Well, the term I want to say is a uh, stream family, but uh, I'm the uh, worker bee. Farms in Fashion 101. Yeah, I want to see what everybody's wearing. I'm wearing a green plaid if it matters with a camo undershirt. I got nothing on at all. I'm sitting here starch naked. <laughs> watch, watch the wheel cam, people. <laughs> That's not on. I kid, but you wish I wasn't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> wish you wasn't. <laughs> Spectre, you're too nice. You're always waiting for me. That's because we heard the Canadians are super nice, so we wanted to uh, return the uh, turn the gesture. If you're saying that's not true, then we can just uh, go all out New York on you. No, no, I'm cool with the niceness. I think what would be super awesome with Seasons is if we could get crop damage after a, a heavy rain or windstorm. Ooh, especially a windstorm. I like that. Yeah. Although yeah. it's hard for them to simulate wind, I think. No, yeah, but, you know, there's there's times when you have rain, and then there's times where you, like, seriously, like, wow, this is a really heavy simulated storm. Because it just seems to rain yeah. a lot more and a lot more horizontal. Um, then after that, you come in and you got some crop damage in the middle of the field. You got just stuff lying on the ground. That would be cool. I'm not arguing with that at all. That's when root cops would be advantageous. I think next stream we're going to have to feed our moo moos again. I just love that you can lose crop. I lost, um, whole lot of corn on churn farms 
Well, we'll get to see that in a couple weeks. That's with seasons? Yep. Lost a whole lot of corn. Maybe, maybe like seven fields of it. Oh, ouch. What did you do? Forget the harvest? No, no, no. So, what the heck are you doing? So the first time I played through... Um, Welcome to Rubber Burner Gaming, where we forget how to talk, we press all the wrong buttons, and we run into things. I was... The first playthrough, um, it didn't get to 50 degrees ground temp until two days before was the last time I could plant corn. Um, and basically I took the premise that I was going to just plant corn and just basically gamble that it hits 50 degrees. And like day 22 of early summer, it hit 50 degrees finally and corn came up. So this time around, I took the base of the same premise, except I planted all the corn um, basically as soon as it started summer. And I think the ground temp was still like 46 degrees, something, 48 degrees or something. Um, well, I didn't hit 50 degrees until the first day of midsummer. Okay? So, I didn't know if... And when I hit midsummer, I didn't have any corn or soybeans come up. But I didn't know if I hit 50 degrees at midnight or if I hit 50 degrees technically at some point just before midnight or just after midnight. Um, so I had to basically wait until late summer to discover that all the soybeans and all the corn came up harvested. So every bit of every field of corn and soybean I put in was total loss. And you know, it was one of those if I wait until 50 degrees, then I could literally not have enough time to plant anything. Or gamble and put some stuff in early and hope that I get the temperature I need. Um, so, proved, proved you can gamble and lose. You can't just you don't just lose crop because you miss you missed uh, misused your time on harvest season by not taking you know taking the best advantage of time. It also validated. That uh, seasons is not set up to where you know it, a hitting your temperatures is guaranteed. Um, it's not guaranteed. You know, even even in late summer, I didn't get above 50 degree ground temp. So I had 24. Yeah, I had 24 game days of summer, and I didn't get above 50 degree ground temp the whole time. Um, well, I got to 50 and I didn't get above 50. So, that would have, if I was playing it safe, I would have planted a whole bunch of canola, barley, and, and, uh, sunflowers, and, uh, wheat. Uh, cows go moo. There's one video on Saturday, one video on Sunday. There's my exit ramp. So. That's where I sat all evening. Do we need to put a little, uh, the boy was here? <laughs> yeah. The old boy was here and didn't go boom. So if, if you only saw one on Saturday, there's one on Sunday they showed up. Yeah, Chris Webb says that's a bad summer there. That hurts. I think that's the understatement right there. Understatement of the year. So I was on, I was in the uh, Slack forum, or the Slack channel, or whatever you call it, for uh, seasons, and I was asking them, like, okay, this is what happened. When I went to midsummer, I didn't have growth on the soybeans and corn. Does that mean I lost a field? And uh, the head guy that's over there that does lots of the talking's like, yeah, you should have planted better. You, know, you should have, should have planned out your crops better. And I'm like, okay, I'm fine with it, me losing it. In fact. 
it's actually great that I lost the crop because that's going to play into my storyline very, very well. Yeah. So, so I was kind of ecstatic that I lost all that crop. <laughs> I've never heard somebody be happy that they lost crop. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to work perfect for how I want to transition. And, uh, um, I just validated that you can, you can, you can get a bad year that you don't get what you need to get. It's not a guaranteed thing that you're going to be able to uh, plant in a given planting season and actually have it come up. Hey, and Jason. That's so true to real life, too. Yeah, we, we kind of knew that, we knew weather was random. And we knew that uh, theoretically you could have a really wet autumn where you wouldn't have time to harvest things because of just wet crop conditions. Um, but you can also have a cold spring and summer to the point where you don't have a chance to put things in the ground that you need to put in the ground. So like I got, I got pigs, so I need corn. Well, if I don't have enough corn to carry me for two whole years, and I can't plant any corn, and I can't harvest any corn because I completely lost it, then I basically have to sell my pigs because I don't, or, or try to buy in food. And the way pigs eat, well, it's pretty darn expensive to buy in food. They are significantly yeah. better with the update, though, I'm just saying. But they? Are you running the new update now? Yeah. I think. To some degree, I think they almost tanked them a little bit too much. They may have, yeah. But because we're on mainly pigs, I'm okay with it. Because the little porkers now eat about a fifth of what they used to eat. And they reproduce in, in spring, summer, and autumn. So you get more piggies now per year. They eat about a fifth as much as they used to. Are you going to be updating your, um, your, I want to call it an XML file, that's not what it is. You know the thingy? Yeah, I've already updated it, I just haven't uploaded it. I Wait. if I could uh, get a version of that, because I yeah. didn't run it. Yeah, because I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to wait till they, uh. Until release they it. Do an official release. Yeah. And then once they release it, I'm going to update the new one because if I update the new one, then people will be like, it's wrong. No matter yeah, how many. No, I get that. Yeah, for sure. What in the world are you talking about? The, the new dev version of Seasons, they changed how much pigs need to eat. They right. basically made pigs significantly easier to be profitable because they eat a whole lot less now. Yeah. They reproduce a whole lot more. Um. So I updated my spreadsheet, the feed requirements, reflect That's those changes. Alright, I gotta empty this truck. Uh, officially, when they publish the new seasons, unofficially I can send it to you. Alright, thank you. Yeah, I would appreciate that also, thank you very much. Yeah, I plan on going on and getting the, uh, oh. going on the proper channels and picking up my updated version of Seasons when I get back. I got the email saying that I'm still in the, the teams, so I got to pick that up. Well, actually, I guess I don't technically have to because it, we're running it on our multiplayer for Crawford, aren't we, Rubber? Yes, I updated that not too long ago. Uh, last, yeah, last time we were together, it was updated. Yeah, I, I don't need to log into. I don't need to log into Slack. I saw your. Uh, uh, I saw it said it says dev version because it's got a little watermark on it. Yeah, I just grabbed it off GitHub there. Yeah. But uh, the version that they gave me. Doesn't have the little watermark. I don't know if I don't know if you yeah. thought I was having issues with it, with it, because if you download it off of GitHub, it just has zero for versions. It's oh, okay. version zero if you download it off of GitHub. So I was just like, 
It says it's version zero. Is that the right one? And he's like, well, I'll make you up one. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I don't need a special version. So he sent me one that has the right version number, or what, what, whatever the version number will be when it's actually released. Yeah. Said, wow, I feel special. It's like, you are special. Yeah, there's no doubt about so, that. So I don't know if he was being, you know, sarcastically funny or what. <laughs> but I didn't really know that they uh, lowered the feed stuff until I put it in. And as I put it in, because the uh, on Midtown, you don't own equipment. The BGA owns some equipment that you can use. And what I, uh, the, I discovered that with the current release of Seasons, you can't do maintenance on something you don't physically own. But it's still required maintenance. So basically after a game year or 30 hours, the stuff down to BGA would start to break down and not work. Um, but you would have no ability to do any maintenance on it. So I went on for Slack and I was like, you know, so this is a situation I got and I can't do maintenance. And they're like, they, they had no idea that you could set in game something that you didn't own that you could still use. So... They basically put some logic in that if if you don't own the actual thing, then they disable the need for maintenance. So I got the dev version because I basically wanted to um, continue over on Midtown. And I went and I fed the pigs on churn. And all of a sudden the pigs took substantially less than they did last time I fed them. Like, what? What's going on? And then I looked into the XML and their feed requirements were changed. Um, Robert Coggin says uh, special needs. And uh, Chris Webb says special farmer Klein. It's me, special needs. So, what are we doing after this here field? 39. And board. I'm going to call it a night. All right. So 30, what? 39's small. There it is. 30, 28, and 29. Pure. Pure. 28 and 29 are also soybeans. They're ready to harvest. Hey, rubber burner. Yes? We got our answer to our question in our conversation earlier, the hard way. Um. Play it tonight because I didn't know when I'd be able to play again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do on tomorrow night now. <laughs> All right, see you later, Mr. Awesome. This is true. <laughs> I think the version that's out now officially is 1.3.0 and I think what they're looking to release is 1.3.1 I do got to run some electric to clean up the studio tomorrow before rehearsal on Sunday though, so I'll be doing that tomorrow afternoon well, I'll be sleeping then anyways Oh, yeah, no. Well, that's another bin full. So I noticed this trailer suspension actually raises as it empties. I saw the trailer like shifting and getting taller as it was emptying. I'm like, what's going on? And 
Every so often it would uh, would creep up a little bit higher, up a little bit higher. And after we do 28, 29, there's a bunch of fields up here by the pig farm that are beans. getting up for tonight. No, we're not going to get that for tonight. I'm bringing you the truck and then I got to go up there and find a silo to use. All by my lonesome. I've got a cooler to keep me company, that's all I need. Hey, I got a cooler too, but mine's empty. That happens after being out on the road for three days. You gotta get after the wife on that one. All right, we got uh, all three of these oh, bins no, are full. Cooler's full at home. I'm talking about the one sitting beside me. Oh, well, you can't do anything with that one anyways. At least not anything that's fun. Oh. I'm going to lower our auger. Trust me, I'll be hitting the one at home probably before I even walk in the front door. Yo. All right. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a green bin. Overneeded. A couple up there. up there and uh, those because let's see what crop we've got up there we got sunflowers soybeans and all right please Oh, no. Let's see. I think uh, we got crop in both of these. Oh, my. E for hopper. And pipe out. Okay. 
Okay, what's the deal with that? Guess we're not getting it because it's got weed in it or something, so. Alright. We'll just figure they have something in them. Where's my overloader guy? Still trying to find a grain bin. This is poor service right here. There's a truck up there. All right, let's see if these grain. I think. Sorry, no boy. I kind of cut you off there. What both of these say? grain bins are used. Man, you guys are awfully quiet. Just as I start hammering on. I'll be right back. I'll tell you, it's handy that we put the little signs up because I wouldn't remember what's in where. Ooh, I heard a the grapevine that something might be helping you guys out with that if there's another map. Uh, kind of like this in regards to silage stuff. Yeah. I talked to the grapevine oh. about doing it. <laughs> Three bins. <laughs> Do we have signs in all three? No, we don't. Yeah, uh, he said he's working on the barley. App for barley. The and this one is empty. Sweet. Levitating a little bit, but we'll put soybeans in that one. Glad you stayed up there. Real deer? Yeah, real deers. Multiple. They're up on the ledge just letting the jump off in front of me. Thank goodness they didn't. I don't need another delay. I'm like three minutes from home. I just want to be home. <laughs> I've had enough. How many hours are you going to have on this week? I don't know. Without having Saturday, I'm probably pushing 60 or 70. I have a 12-hour day. 12-hour days for the past five days, so that's what, 65. So, yeah, somewhere between 60 and 70. Not as good as last week, but still pretty darn good. If I had tomorrow yet, then I'd be up there with the last week. Well, in the long run, it was probably a good thing you didn't have as many hours. I mean, you pretty near killed yourself last week with that. Yeah. All right, later, cows. Good move. I hope the boss doesn't watch any of uh, my live streams when you come in, or, or this one here. He's going to think you set fire to those brakes intentionally. <laughs> Wait, did you? No. Oh. No. no. <laughs> Did lying if it said it if I say it didn't cross my mind, but no, I didn't. Ah,
I'm not sure, uh, Die Boy. I'm pretty sure you would have done it. What? 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 Eh, sounds about right to me. No, I didn't. Hey, your overloader guy's here. Hey, Farmer Oops, how are you doing? Well, at least my puppy dogs are happy to see me. How's the great GTX? Great. Hmm. Careful with those words. People will start believing you. <laughs> We've already established that I'm special, so people don't listen to me. There's a difference between special and great. Yeah, definitely is. So. Well, Rubber Burner, I got one parting gift for you. Uh-oh. You hear that? <laughs> so I can expect to hear from Doughboy later on. <laughs> Probably. Did you, pop, did you pop the top on some soda water? Oh, yeah. Definitely did. So, all right, guys, have a good stream. I will chat with you later. All right. There you go, boy. All right, bye. I forgot to hit the push to talk button. So what's new in uh, Andy's world this evening? Trying to make big decisions. Ooh, that's, that sounds like something that makes your head hurt. Not really. I'm trying to work out a nice price for uh, eggs. Um, for something I'm working on. And I want to adjust the price make it a little bit more realistic because I don't believe that in normal mode ten dollars an egg is acceptable. No, you're right. That's that's way over par. I would say something like three dollars an egg. Yeah, that's what I was thinking two to three dollars. Uh, that's, that's also going to depend on your price of chickens. You got expensive eggs. I just said too much. Shut up now. Hi, <laughs> you're right. It's 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 known by a lot of people that we've got something coming related to chickens, so. Here in my store, I get two sixty nine for a dozen. Yeah, I'm not sure where they've come up with this factor. I guess it's because in the standard base game, you have 24 chickens that can't be changed, so that equates to 24 eggs a day, $240. It's not a lot of money. Any less, you probably wouldn't bother going to the chicken coop. Yeah, this is true. That's just it. In the end, it still has to be profitable enough that people are going to be interested in taking care of it. You also have to take into factor what does it take to raise said chicken. This is this is very true. And if you if you um, in the base way, it's fine because if you have twenty four chickens, it, it's it's an acceptable amount of, of money. But if you end up having uh, say a thousand chickens. It would be almost cheating <laughs> for them to be ten dollars an egg. Yeah, but at the same time, if you have to um, appropriate, um, let's say, ten hectares of land towards raising them, it may not be. Man, them chickens eat like pigs. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just throwing a number in there, right? That's when Farmer Clyde's spreadsheet would come in. I seem to have taken a little bite out of the field here. Do a little bit of research on how much they eat. Um, I don't remember what it is now, but I could have a look. I think corn would be the thing they eat the most, and it wouldn't, you wouldn't think it'd be that much.
Around here, they grow a bunch of turkeys. They always say, uh, you don't want to leave your turkeys outside when it rains because they'll look up and drown. Ah! <laughs> the, uh, the turkeys growing for the, uh, for the meat market aren't the brightest individuals, you could say. Say intelligence um, has been uh, has been engineered out of them. Frank says he raised chickens out west, and it depended on their egg color how much it was worth. Six a do six dollars a dozen if they were chocolate brown. There's an idea of eggs that are worth more depending on how how well their productivity was type deal i've overcomplicated things pro, again pro, no no productivity affects how much you get as in how many will will actually be laid yeah i guess what i was kind of saying there was what if they still laid the same amount, but their price was different? But again, I am overcomplicating things there. Yeah, the only issue is you're adding extra fill types then, because you'd have to categorize them as another fill type. Right, yeah. Playing with factors makes it easier, because when you come to things like seasons, it allows you to kill things off. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? I'm just trying to line up for the uh, overloader. What are you doing? <laughs> trying to get to your pipe. <laughs> I think we've gotten to that point of the stream, folks. <laughs> I think you're having a hard time lining up with a stationary object. Um, in my defense, nothing's stationary anymore. What's the next field this needs to go to? 28-29. Alright, I think I'm going to drive it there, and then that's probably going to be too finny for me. Yeah, that's just enough time to jump. Klein has cloned himself once again, folks. Oh, am I standing out in the middle of the field? Yes, sir. Yes, Frank, it is me. That's answering a question in our base chat, by the way. I, f I figure since it wasn't a question in my chat, it must be over there. I just didn't want you to think I was talking to myself, you know? I do that sometimes. Well, you know, you modern types are special people. Frank, I don't know why that um, last uh, message was... Sorry, I don't know why I'm pressing push to talk right now. This doesn't concern me. <laughs>
Frank says, I heard GTX is a mod god. I couldn't agree with you more. Now, his humble self is going to disagree with you to the ends of the earth. But he is. And I'll, be, I'll probably say sorry as well. <laughs> for, you, for those of you wondering why I got such a chuckle out of this, Andy has been helping me out with another map project that I am working on now, and I'm using a new script that I'm unfamiliar with, and he's been holding my hand the entire way and helping me out tremendously. And anytime I ask him a question and, you know, there's a little bit of confusion, he's constantly saying, I'm sorry. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here thinking, dude, you're giving me your time. Just, just play. We're going to go empty this and then take it up to uh, 28 and say something at once. Yeah, Jason, I heard uh, I heard Kerbo talking about that. Um, I didn't see where it is. I didn't. Uh, I didn't really. I didn't go and dig that information up right now. But uh, I did see that apparently you can uh, modify your crop, not your crop, but your your soil uh, density or your soil consistency. <clears throat> so if you're playing in an area that has sandy soil, it could be, I guess, less dense. If you're playing in an area that's typically a clay, clay soil, you could have very dense, very thick soil. <clears throat> Hey, Mad Skip Man, welcome to the stream. Now, see, I noticed this trailer. Watch it. As it unloads, you'll see the, uh, there, there it popped. The suspension shifts. There it went again. Pretty cool. Here we go. There it went again. There, shift it again as it unloads. The uh, suspension shifting as the load's getting lighter. That was pretty cool. We just jumped that ditch. Yeah, it's over in the um, it's over in the uh, more realistic thread. Made a wrong turn. Went and got lost. What'd you get lost for? That seems dumb. Does.
Got a, uh, there's a Geico commercial down here that uh, talks about as long as GPS can still get you lost, then you can save money on your insurance with Geico. Yeah. Just thinking of that as I made the wrong turn. <laughs> so, GTX says, um, yes, but my Discord stopped working, so not so awesome. He said, I, I was confused whether it was mine or his, so I restarted restarted mine. He's listening, and he says, yeah, me, sorry. Then he says, oops, I said sorry. <laughs> You know it's jump time, right? Yeah, I see you up there. Okay. Whee! You were the last person to drive this truck. What truck? I don't know what you're talking about. One that's... that's tail-ended into the tree. No. Yes. How would how would you know such a thing? You're gonna have to come knock me out of the way, out of the tree. Dag simulator addict sold me out. Or maybe it was shit addict, I don't remember. Well that'll work. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, are you stuck in the trees now? No, I'm good. I'm gonna turn on my be I got I got my beacons on for safety. Mine or yours? I can't turn yours on. <laughs> no, I mean mine or your safety. The safety of the viewers. Okay. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Do we get to see it? self-riding truck works every time you know what I actually got it stuck upside down there twice I think during the last stream alright I think I'm going for one more jump and I'm going to call her a stream Let's clear the whole cow area. This was a horrible jump. I'm going to have to do another one. Self ready never let you down, eh? Yep. Alright, time to get a good run on the cow farm.
Oh, lucky I bailed out of that one just in time. on earth are the cows thinking? Oh no, you're in the poo. No, the Chevy's in the poo, where it belongs. Is that what you think? I really do feel that way about Chevy's. It's just not in the poo no more. Oh, that's not cool, bro. <laughs> it's magic. Cheater. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out and watching. Uh, we will be back here next Wednesday. Uh, we'll start to stream with some animal care. And then we'll, guess what? Get back to harvest and soybeans. Uh, we've got uh, three more days until mid-autumn. And then we'll have a whole bunch more crop come due uh, for harvest, hopefully. This is a big pile of poo we got. So right now we got fields 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 28, 29, and 30 left to harvest. And uh, 30's, 30's corn. So we're kind of waiting until we get all the beans done before we jump on the corn. And then we'll have a, a fair amount of um, whatever that color is ready to harvest probably at the next transition. Then we're basically just going to work through the map uh, from that point. So thank you guys for coming out and watching. Until next time, happy farming.